will actually run a marathon so shortly after <laughs> participate in a marathon so shortly after my leg got better. Uh, just two seconds because it's not warm enough and should be visible. And then you okay. just open. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't supposed to do cuts, that's why I'm so different. Yeah. Emotions influence our behaviors. I, was, I am an emotional person, and I always had the problem because my behaviors are strictly connected to my emotions. When I'm happy, I'm the best version of me. But when I'm stressed, actually, I have problems to show the people who I really am. So I started to read about this, and I started to search for ways to control my emotions. And uh, I'm going to tell you now about uh, personal experience, about my first date with my boyfriend. We met last year in the mountains, skiing. Actually, he gave me my first ski lesson. And it was really fun, you know, I was myself, I enjoy all the time. But that was because I never thought that I could have any relationship with this person. So I wasn't stressed at all. But a month after this, he came to Prague and he invited me for a date, for dinner. And as I was thinking about this, I, I thought that there's something special about this person. Actually, I really <laughs> liked him. So I became stressed and I started to be afraid that the next day I will not be myself, you know, that I will look stupid, I will not be able to talk well and he will find a completely different person than the one he saw a month before. So I had to do something. So. What do you think I did the night before the, the meeting? I read this. <laughs> body language of love. <laughs> this is because we all know that body language helps us create a rapport with, our, with the people, so they uh, help us transmit our message better. But here is an interesting idea. Have you ever thought that maybe the body language can also influence the way you see yourself. And this way, you can also influence your uh, behavior. So maybe that would be an answer to the problem that I had. And actually, I found this answer. Sorry, here. Amy Cuddy is a social uh, psychologist. And she has one of the uh, favorite topics of mine on TED. And she made this experiment. She took a group of people and she split them in two. She asked the first group to exercise for two minutes some power pose, high power poses. And this is an example of one of them. Uh, she took the other group and for the same two minutes she asked them to exercise some, sorry, some low power poses. And then she put all these people to a really difficult interview. And after uh, the people that interviewed them had no idea about this experiment. At the end of it, guess who was uh, hired? Or who these people decided to hire? The people with high, that exercise the high power poses. And actually there's no voodoo thing here. There is science behind it. She also measured the level of testosterone and cortisone of these people before the experiment and after the experiment. Testosterone is the hormone that is the power hormone and among others it helps you to focus more, to be more confident, so be better prepared for these stressful situations. And guess what? After exercising these poses, sorry, uh, the level of testosterone for the people in higher power poses increased while for the others decreased. So that's why they were more prepared for the interview. Well, uh, for the other hormone, the cortisol, is a hormone of stress. And actually, if you see here, it's the opposite thing. So that's the science behind it. 
And now, I, before you enter a stressful situation, I would like you to take away these three things. I have three exercises for you. One, of course, exercise high power poses. For two minutes only, you don't need for more. And I'm going to show you now something. Um, in my previous job, we had a senior manager that was really difficult and I hated to go in his room to talk to him. I was afraid of him. So, while I was going to his office, I was going like this. Do you know why? Because I look really confident like this and I look like, you know, I, I'm, I'm the master. So, I, I, I felt that I managed better the meeting with him. The second thing that I recommend you to do, smile. Because, you know, smile will make you happy. And sometimes, I think, you might be sad or you might not feel like smiling and it's a bit difficult to smile. Take a pen. Put it between your teeth. <laughs> you will smile and actually you will tell your brain that you are smiling. It will not make the difference. <laughs> the third one has no connection with the body language but it helps in these situations. It's about diaphragm breathing because this relaxes you and more than this actually uh, it helps you lower your voice and uh, generally people with lower voice are, are perceived as having better higher authority and therefore there's a higher chance for them to land in leadership positions so these are the three things and at the end, I encourage you to remember these exercises anytime you, you need them. And also, please share them with the world because I think the other people deserve to have a better life. And you will see that this will change you, will shape you, and will also change the outcome of your life. Thank you. Thank you.